Hi everyone! Did you know that in 2024, there is still a way to make a professional website for free? All you need to do is register a domain name and you'll be able to get free hosting and access to an easy to use website builder with all the tools you need to make a one page website for your business. A one page website can be a landing page with all the info you need on it, a portfolio site or more. So first I'm on website.com and you'll see when we click on sign up, the lowest cost plan to use with a professional custom domain name is the $3 a month plan for the first term. While this is great if you need multiple pages or an online store, I'm going to show you a way to get a website at your domain name at the lowest cost possible. So what we're actually going to do is click on domain names. And now type a domain name that you want. Every domain name in the world is unique, meaning no one else will have the same domain name as you, so be sure to choose one that fits your branding and your business. You can think of your domain name as your calling card, and make sure it's easy to remember so that visitors can visit your website again and again. So you can choose your term length, and the best value is to choose the longest term, but if you want to get started with the least amount of money, we can shorten that length to a one-year registration, which is just $20 for the full year. Click continue. So now we can go ahead and add our website essentials. So you can see right here, you can add the Easy Site Builder absolutely for free. And you'll notice that this is free not as a trial, but forever for as long as you have your custom domain name with website.com. So we've added that to the cart, and you can go ahead and add these other trials. You can add an online store plan or domain emails, and domain emails can go a long way to make your online image more trustworthy. But because I want to start a website at the lowest possible cost, we'll go ahead and choose just the easy site builder, and then we'll click continue. So now you can choose your login credentials and information, and once that's ready, you can complete the sign up process. So now I've gone ahead and completed the sign up process, and I've now registered my own professional domain name. Now to make our one page website, let's log into our account by going to website.com. We'll go to the home page by clicking on this logo and then click login. Now you can enter your account credentials. I'm now in the member dashboard and I'm going to click edit site to open the website builder. Now we'll see the template for my one page site that I have for free. We're going to go ahead and customize the images, text and sections. I'm going to make a portfolio website for an artist. You'll notice site design right here, which will allow you to choose the fonts and colors for your website design. For the hero image, it would be best to use my own image for the background, but you can also choose a copyright free stock image that's free for you to use. To change the image, just click right on it. And then you can upload and change or choose select from files. So I'm going to click on that right here. To upload your own files, you can click right up here or right here. But I'm going to explore stock images. I'm going to choose animals and nature. And now I'll select my stock image. To change the text, just click on the text you want to change, and you can directly change it right here or on the left. You'll notice that the entire website is made up of different sections. To add a section, just click and then click Add Section. 
So these are the different types of sections that you can add. I'm going to click on Image Gallery, and I'm going to choose a gallery style. And again, you can change out the images in the gallery the same way that we've changed the image in the hero. You can also delete an entire section just by clicking on a section. And then in the mini toolbar, just click delete section. You'll notice on this website that there are a lot of different buttons and you can link buttons to other sections on your site, external links and more. For example, we can click on Get Started, and you'll see we'll need to add a link to this button. So just click right here, or you can find it on the left. You'll see that the button is toggled on, and you can click right there. So these are the different types of buttons that you can add. You can link it to a page, to a file, to a pop-up, or to external links such as a web address, an email, or phone. I'm going to choose Page. And then I'm going to link it to a different part of the page. So I'll choose the section I want to link it to. I'll have that button linked to Gallery. And then click Save. If you don't want to have a secondary button, you can just toggle it off by clicking here. I also want to show you how to customize the header and the footer on your website. So that's the very top of your website and this section on the bottom here. So just click on that section, and on the header, you can upload your own company logo. Just click on it and upload it, or you can actually toggle the company logo off. You'll see that the button has a call to action. Right now it's labeled Contact Us, and I'm gonna have that link to the contact section on my page. You can also include your social media links that will lead to your social media profiles. To edit those, just click Edit. Right now they're toggled on. I'm going to click Edit. Now make sure the URLs beside each icon match your social media profiles. And you can remove some or add some from the list right here. When you're done with that, just click Save and Publish Changes. Now we're going to go to the footer and make sure the address and contact information is up to date. And the last thing I want to show you is the contact form. So it already includes a contact form section on my website right here. I'm going to leave this as is. And if you want to look at the submissions, simply click on the contact form section. And then on the left, you'll see where it says manage form submissions. So you can click on that. Another way to look at your form submissions, we'll just get out of that, is to go back to the main menu for the editor. And you can click on forms right here on the left. And then click view submissions next to your contact form. When you've made all the changes for your website, remember to click Publish on the top right-hand corner and your website will be live. So that's a crash course on how to get a free website connected to a professional domain with Website.com and how to use the Website Builder to make your website your own. Remember to subscribe to Website.com for more website tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.